to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about uh, some crazy things that people might tell you that you need to do in order to heal your gut, your bloating, your food sensitivities, anything related to digestive problems and issues. And I want to clearly and quickly explain to you why you don't need to send me your poop. <laughs> okay, so um, sometimes when people find me, they have been exploring options and looking around in the world, particularly if they're more holistic minded and wanting to get rid of these symptoms and get rid of the gut issues, get rid of the bloating, and you know, like they don't know what to do, right? So if you have looked at or seen or heard some of the things like more in the functional medicine arena, which are like um, natural paths perhaps, or just functional medicine doctors. You might think you need a lot of supplements. You might think that you need um, specific testing. And the one that's making me laugh is um, the one where they say they need stool samples, okay? So I wanna explain to you why, one, we always start with food, and two, why you don't need a stool sample, okay? It's very easy to understand. Okay, so the overall reasoning here is that every human body, every human's body has a digestive system that flows and functions in a particular way and that that way is the same for you and for me. And there's certain aspects of it that are completely influenced by food that just it's how it works okay it's just how it works so let's address the supplement thing first I'm not a fan of like going huge into supplements because I, I see you big picture I see the entire digestive system as a unit and and we look at like where's the stagnation where's the energy what's causing the problems and how do we relieve those how do we eliminate those how do we get rid of those so I only know how to predominantly maneuver that with your diet, with food, because we have a digestive system so that we can eat, right? Yes, we digest life, like from a human design perspective, the way that we digest information is similar across the board and food is information, right? Whether you're looking at your energy type, generator, Manny Jen, projector, reflector, manifester, or you're looking at um, your unique digestive profiles, which I'll talk about in another video. And I talk about and I take you through in my course because they're specific to you, not me, not anyone else. They're yours. So we have to see that we're all like digesting things every day. Food is a constant right? We're, we're intaking, we're, ex, we're eliminating, I was going to say exporting, but it sounds like a shipping issue. So we're taking in, we're releasing out, hopefully if we're healthy and we need, we all have these systems so that we can consume food. It's just the thing was, we never really were taught how to eat to keep our body healthy, clean and clear and pure inside. And it's been clogged up and certain things happen. So the food either works or it doesn't really work so well. So my method is to help you see how powerful your food is and how your body responds to your food, to the different kinds of food, to different foods in general, specifically when we talk about healing the gut, right? Specific ones like melons and potatoes and sweet potatoes and avocados and things like that. Um, and the food is going to influence the way the digestive system works. It's going to help it heal itself. It's going to help it maneuver itself back into flow. And so we have to look at the food. Like for that reason, we have to know how what we're eating, consuming is helping or slowing down or harming the way our body works. And the way that our bodies work is like consistent across the human realm, right? Like it's, it's, it's how God made us. So there's that. And if you look at supplements, like to me, supplements are like a very small factor for, and sometimes like 
when you have like a health condition, you need that to like help you get over the hump, but you still need the food first because you, or at least as a, uh, at the same time, right? You need to go all in with the food so that you know you're not feeding into triggers. You're not feeding into the problem anymore, right? So the supplements I see more as like a boost, like how can I really help support my body in this specific area once I see what it really needs. Um, but most of the time, like my clients in this capacity don't need massive supplementation. Like I tell people, um, sometimes you need like a liquid vegan B12, especially if you are all the time fully plant-based. Um, but you have to see like how well this works big picture when you put, put real foods in. Okay. Um, the supplements have to come later and they're not going to move the needle on this system that processes food every day. Cause like imagine like taking I don't know, some kind of vitamin, whether it's a tincture, a dropper, a pill, a tablet, or capsule, like once a day, twice a day, maybe even three times a day, but all day long, you're consuming like macronutrients of food that may or may not have additives, that may or may not have chemicals on them, that may or may not have other components to them. And that is the body doing things with that information constantly. And so it has to be efficient and it has to be easy, okay? So there's that. And then the second part is like why you don't need a stool sample, okay? I'm not that, I never was that kind of practitioner. No one ever sent me those, like thank God. <laughs> but I had a client ask me this once when she was considering my program. Well, why don't why don't I need a stool sample like this woman this person says like I need I need this because she has to tell me what strain of bacteria or what's in my poop that is the problem right and it's I'm laughing because Dalton talks about poop all the time because he's four and he goes to daycare and I think it's a boy thing that happens at daycare I don't know and I'm always like don't talk about poop but then I'm like Jody you talk about poop all the time <laughs> okay so yeah. I do. Um, so anyways, like I don't need to know what is in your poop because the root cause, you guys, of all the things, it's always the same. It's It doesn't matter which bacteria it is, it's a bacteria, like a bad guy bacteria. It doesn't matter what parasite variety, it's a parasite. It doesn't matter necessarily what virus in this the condition. It doesn't matter because it's a virus. Why doesn't it matter? It matters in the sense that they're there. It matters in the sense that we know that they're the problem. It matters in the sense that we know that when we eat certain foods, we are either going to feed them or not feed them. So to me, I don't need to know what strain of bacteria you have, if you have one at all. I mean, everybody has good and bad bacteria. That's not what I'm saying. But if that's like your main problem, okay? It's typically not like, it's not, that's not how it is. I don't need to know that because I know what I know, which is I know which foods feed all the bad guy bacteria. And I know which foods kill all the bad guy bacteria. So I don't care. I don't need to know that because what we do works for any kind. Does that make sense? So I know that when I have you eat bananas on repeat and in my smoothie recipes for healing the gut, which by the way, do eat bananas if you have gut issues, please, please do. They smother bad bacteria. They don't care which kind, they're gonna smother them because they're bad and they don't belong in your body and bananas are healing or helping the body heal, okay? This is how it works, you know, bananas, grapes, pears, blueberries, any fruit, any vegetable, any anything like that, they are going to help eliminate parasites, eliminate viruses, eliminate bacteria, either directly or indirectly. Directly meaning like some things like the bananas, they go into like, bye, I got you, you're out. Um, in, an, in the indirect way, all these foods are helping to cleanse and clear. So when you have a cleaner gut, you can 
it's faster, it's more efficient, it's gonna move the stuff out that it's um, residues or what's coming in like daily that needs to be cleared out, and your liver. So your liver needs to be cleared out for your body to be vibrating healthy. And so all those are gonna do that, okay? So it doesn't matter, and that's also why it's not so technical and not so specific like you can only eat carrots and you can only eat spinach and you can eat bananas like no it's not like that all those things work for all of you they work for me they work for humans they work for the body then the body works for you for me for humans okay that's how it is so i hope this clears this up but this is why like we don't need these really um long programs we don't need these like stool samples, we don't need all these like blood tests. The body works this way. It does, it works this way and it responds this way and it always positively responds to us when we take correct action with giving it the right inputs, the right information in the right ways with real, whole, nutrient dense, pure, positive energy foods, okay? So if you're interested in checking that program out, you can look in the box below or head to my website. It's under the group coaching options, like the second one down, trust your gut. Click on it, it'll take you over there and you can read about it. Um, you can start immediately, you can jump in, you can add one-to-one um, -one coaching if you want support like that. So whatever, everything that you need is in there. It will give you your answers, it will give you peace of mind, and it will help you move through it so that you don't have to struggle with this stuff anymore, okay?